The holiday season is the happiest time of the year. Everyone's smiling and decorations are all over, and we get to watch our favorite Christmas movies, which is my favorite. You know, Christmas is just happiness, and you know, while gift giving and waiting for Santa is all fun and games, as gamers, sometimes we get to experience Christmas in our own way. What's going on, guys? I'm Keith Allen, and you know, from limited time game events to permanent fixtures and your favorite titles, here are six of the jolliest Christmas scenes in gaming. Even hardened Overwatch agents need to take a step back now and then, right, to enjoy the holidays. And, you know, this seasonal event has been running since 2016, introducing a variety of fun and wintry skins, holiday game modes, and tie-in comics with each year that passes. The Christmas-centric event, too, is all about keeping things cozy while playing out in the snow, blanketing maps like Eco Point and Antarctica and Black Forest. Things suddenly become less about kills during this festive season and more about dressing in holiday jammies and throwing snowballs. You know, May Snowballs Offensive is a favorite that returns from time to time. 12 players pelt each other with snowballs and hide behind ice walls as everyone plays as May to heighten the confusion. The arcade mode Yeti Hunter is an evolution of the Snowball Offensive. Taking players to a reskin version of the Nepal Village map and plunking five maids down in one area to hunt down one player on the opposing team. A Yeti, a poor Winston, having to wander the map in search of maids to slaughter. But the fun isn't relegated to these silly, joyful events. Your favorite heroes get kitted out to look like nutcrackers, snow angels, and other holiday-themed entities. Soldier 76 even gets an ugly sweater to rock since he's the dad of the group, after all. Blizzard knows how to treat players right with its seasonal events, and by the time the holidays roll around, there is a little surprise for players enjoying the game year around. Christmas is all about warmth and happiness, and even though you're pummeling each other to death in Overwatch, <laughs> there's still very much time to sit back and just laugh about it when your character is dressed in a reindeer costume. And then there they were, right there on the floor the exosuit and weapons I had asked Santa for. In the spirit of giving, I let fire fly. I asked who wanted barbecue, but got no reply. The strength of 10 men. I brought serious pain. Come meet your mate. Frank West is my name. The Dead Rising series has always been something of a zombie apocalypse simulator. The original game introduced us to photojournalist Frank West. He's covered wars, you know, like in Willamette, Colorado, as he found himself trapped inside of a mall surrounded by the undead. He's got to fight his way to safety, Donna the Dead style, before the mall is completely overrun. Frank reprises his role in Dead Rising 4 as he returns to the place where it all began, the mall. This time, however, the snow's coming down, there's tinsel everywhere, and a certain chill in the air. It's Christmas. Willamette Parkview Mall is decked out with festive lights, gingerbread men, and zombies dancing around like some kind of bloodthirsty sugar plum fairies. And Frank knows the score, and he's ready to take these zombies to task even during the most wonderful time of the year. The entirety of Dead Rising 4 feels like a Christmas episode of the popular zombie adventure. Decked out in a Lux Santa suit, Frank arms himself with a candy-striped crossbow to call the undead all to the tune of demented Christmas carols. The downy white snow is splattered with crimson as Frank just mouths down hordes of the undead, clad in festive outfits of their own. At one point during the game, he commandeers a tractor and he hops behind the driver's seat to deliver holiday cheer to zombies wearing Santa hats in the form of decapitation. Those zombies were especially naughty this year. In true Dead Rising fashion, you can use just about anything you see as a weapon. Toss on a Santa hat and make short work of zombie elves as they shamble toward you. Santa probably never thought he'd see his little helpers just stumbling around trying to satisfy their thirst for brains, but here we are. Christmas in Dead Rising 4 looks a lot different than other games, but that's what sets it apart too. Join Frank on his Christmas fa -la, 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 la follies as he struggles to survive on this not-so-silent night. You'll never hear jingle bells the same way again. 
There are two things Batman loves, cleaning up Gotham and celebrating the holidays. Batman Arkham Origins happens to take place during Christmas Eve. It's just that bad guys make Batman a little grumpy, like dropping a defeated henchman from a clock tower on top of a Christmas tree grumpy. Batman Arkham Origins is one of the very few blockbuster games to feature an entirely Christmas-themed adventure. The prequel to the Arkham Asylum trilogy, this gritty adventure features a gorgeous Gotham City blanketed in snow and some of the most demented villains in Batman history gunning for the Dark Knight's life. While the narrative itself doesn't share much in common with the holiday, there are so many fun nods to this season that it feels like walking through a winter wonderland as you just knock a few bad guys' teeth out and just continue on your way. Sometimes you even get the unexpected treat of seeing part of Batman's rogues gallery wearing Christmas hats or just throwing snowballs at each other. How could a city filled with so many kids at heart just hanging out and enjoying the holiday be so sinister? Well, it's Gotham after all. But when we're rarely allowed to see what it's like to just deck the halls with Joker's goons as snow softly falls around the city, Arkham Origins is a treat that should be savored, like that candy cane you just start working on at the beginning of the day and just come back to after Christmas dinner. This game may not explicitly, you know, be all about saving the day for Santa and just chilling with Snowman, but it's a, you know, wintry mix of pain and deduction as you play the greatest detective of all time. Plus, Batman is an iconic part of Jingle Bell's alternative lyric lore and forever it shall be. For nearly a decade, we've watched the saints as they rose from humble beginnings to becoming an unstoppable force of nature. But for the first time ever, I share with you their most important story yet. For this, my friends, is how the Saints saved Christmas. The Third Street Saints of Saints Row aren't strangers to saving the day. First their city, then the world, and then Christmas. In, in Saint Row's four second mission pack, How Saints Save Christmas, the gang is transported to a ho-ho, wholesome 50s version of Steelport. Together, the Saints must stop Claws, the alien Zinzank's evil version of Kris Kringle, and just rampaging through the simulation the Saints find themselves in. Otherwise, Christmas is as good as canceled, and no one wants to unwrap that gift. As the Saints boss, you're tasked with setting things right, all while decked out in an itchy holiday sweater, courtesy of uh, Techie Kinsey. There are a few caveats here. It's Christmas after all, so you can't just run in, guns blazing, your weapon of your choice, right? A crimson cowboy BB gun, and an obvious reference to an A Christmas Story's infamous Red Rider BB gun. Little Ralphie wishes for it, you guys know that one. As long as you don't just shoot your eye out, you can put it to good use against the living gingerbread man terrorizing the city. But you can't use naughty language either. You gotta make sure you stay on the real Santa's nice list after all. How the Saints Save Christmas serves up a heaping helping of holiday cheer that's unlike anything else you'll see in gaming. You'll visit the North Pole to rally the elf resistance to defeat Claus, alongside Miss Claus, and hop aboard Santa's tricked out sleigh one to just drop off gifts or coal to the naughty and nice citizens of Steelport. In the end, of course, the Saints save the day and all of Christmas by taking the fight to the North Pole to utterly obliterate the savage Saint Nick You've got to expect the unexpected with this Christmas adventure. And by that, we mean you're never going to see Robo Rudolph coming. There are a few games just teeming with happiness and joy than the Animal Crossing series. As you no doubt already know this, like Animal Crossing, New Horizons debuted on Switch this year and attracted players of all stripes. There's just something so wholesome and happy about these tiny animals hanging out on their island with you. And every day in Animal Crossing can be like the holidays if you aren't a Grinch. You know, you'll give each other gifts, you know, spend time with your besties and celebrate togetherness and inclusion. But as close as Animal Crossing living is to the holidays, there's actually a seasonal event that acts as an analog to Christmas that even better, Toy Day. So Toy Day is an annual event that's shown up in Animal Crossing ever since the original game on GameCube. The day the holiday is, you know, celebrated on changes from game to game, but the theme remains consistent. Villagers exchange gifts, and you can just even dress up as Santa Claus to bring in some holiday cheer to your favorite anthro, you know, morphic animal friends. New Leaf's a particularly exciting example of how fun Toy Day can be. 
The village jingle pops up in the evening on December 24th, Christmas Eve. He doesn't want to deliver presents all over the town and would just rather someone just dress as Santa Claus, you know, do it instead. And that's where you come in. Okay, so from there, you can get to play a glorified Claus and you can take down the request of all the good little animal boys and girls. And when you go to deliver the goodies on Toy Day, no one knows it's you and instead believes Saint Nick has come to visit. It's a really heartwarming and utterly adorable moment that you'll savor every moment of, especially when you claim your reward on Christmas Day. The real reward, however, you know, was inside you all along as you just spread the Christmas cheer among the animals. Animal Crossing remains one of the purest video game series of all time. Borderlands 3 may be the new hotness, but when it comes to celebrating the holidays of video games, Borderlands 2's winter-centric DLC, ooh, how Marcus saved Mercenary Day is undoubtedly like one of the most exciting ways the game adapted to spreading goodwill for fans during the holidays. And you know, as a lower price headhunter pack, this $2.99 DLC takes players to visit arms dealer Marcus Kincaid and embark on a search for a massive shipment of guns that have inexplicably gone missing. Seeking it out means that you must venture all the way to a new location, Frost Bottom, which is, you might have guessed, covered in snow. So Frost Bottom is home to the icy town of Gingerton. But getting there is complicated by like a whole lot more than the typical Borderlands creeps that you've got to face off to get there. So you have to slay snowmen, you know, snow bandits and snow goliaths, snow psychos, and even a yeti who can't leave well enough alone. At the heart of it, you know, all the, you know, Mr. Tender Snowflake and evil snowman who needs to be beaten with candy cane he carries. You've never seen a killer snowman fight quite like this before, and it really drives home the you know, cookie nature of Borderlands as a whole. So while this Christmas-centric adventure is just short and sweet, it's also you know, rife with some of the best holiday music remixes that you're gonna find this side of Dead Rising Forest Jingle Bells. You haven't lived until you've like beat a killer snowman, and while grooming out to a sweet new remix of God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. All right, programs fam, this is Keith Allen, your motivation guide. We just ran down six games with some of the holliest, jolliest Christmas events ever. Hey, if you guys like the video, make sure you guys like it and sub to the channel. We got so much more amazing content coming out and uh, we'll see you soon. Happy holidays.